Welcome to my Monday evening live sculpting video on Facebook. Here you can see my cup of tea. What I would like to show you today is the difference between bees putty and other polymer clays. This is a test armature. Uh, before I've started this video, I used my thermo jar, filled it with hot tap water. Um, a poly bag. In this poly bag, I placed some chunks of bees body to get it conditioned more easy. Oops, some small amount. So. This is Bee's Putty. It's conditioned, as you can see. I place it. Micha, how hot is the weather? I think it's about 24-25 degrees Celsius. So I press it firmly onto my box top. This is isopropanol alcohol. Tyler Nelson, Scarf the Werewolf. <laughs> Watch me, I have something something different for you today. A few drops of isopropanol on top of it. Then I use a brush. The millet is too high millet. I am from Germany, Chris Karen. So you see this a few drops more. Hallo Gerd. It gets milky here. With this milky liquid. I cover my aluminium wire armature. As you can see it, I only do it on this side. So. To show you the difference, I have here another brand of well-known polymer clay. It's a German brand, Heimig. To do the same stuff, Yes, that's, that's the reason why I'm doing it, but I show you really the difference. This is normal polymer clay, a German brand, well known. I need another different brush. So here's a different.
toothbrush. Some drops of isopropanol. Same procedure. All this brush was clean, had some color in it. So I brush it on the other side. Now I let it dry. In the meantime, I show you Hallo Diane. What I want to sculpt today. This is a picture of one of my favorite artists uh, from the Netherlands, Rien Porteview. Sadly, he had passed away some time ago. Es ist aber deine Frau. Das ist nett. Hallo Frau. So. To build an armature of this draft. I roughly draw in some kind of skeleton. Guten Abend, Maria. This is aluminium wire, two millimeters strong. I don't like to twist the wire together, I use electric sleepies like this here. I place them over the wire. So place this onto my sketch or picture, press it down. Pliers and give it some big marks to make sure it will not be movable again. I think it's a bit far away from a werewolf. Yeah. 
Yes, that's my personal Robocop in the background called the automatic sculpting job Bob. It's a Form 2 3D printer. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just have to check where the knees are. Let it lower, bend it back. Same on the other side. Give it a slightly definition. So cut them like this to get a really, really sharp pointy edge so I can tuck it into my basic Chris Karen thank you so what I want to do normally I would take these both virus and use it for the arms but in this case I will do the head and the cap from it so You, Hardy, you can find them here. I will show you. In German, they are called Ader Endhülsen. In English, they are called electric end sleeves. They look like this. They come in different diameters. Big ones if I want to get together five or four wires. Such big ones. So to take a look. Wunderschön, guten Abend, Eugen. Where the head could be. I need this. Just take a look that it would fit into this will be the face.
the arms I will add separately later. So here you can see my armature for this draft. Ralph, yes, it's a dinosaur. You see, you see, it's a dinosaur. So, just giving it a little bit of posing. Here is a balsa wood block with a foam board, copper line, three millimeters glued with glued on with super glue. I place it into this block like this. So I have a lightweight solid sculpting stand to check if it's deep enough into it. T-Rex, yes, it's a T-Rex. Maybe. Maybe it's, it will be a T-Rex. So, um, to get the clay hold on the armature better, I use the round pliers and get some marks into my armature. So, here again my chunk of beef putty, some drops of isopropanol on it. Danke, Milet. So now on to my test body here. First, I start with this to show you the difference between between bees putty and uh, normally polymer clay. This is a German brand, well-known professional stuff. I'm trying. It's a fresh package, 
no old stuff. Michael, I didn't I didn't heard about this stuff here. But it could be. So conditioned. I, I don't understand me wrong. I uh, have seen many many people sculpt uh, fabulous stuff uh, with this kind of clay uh, but I can't so I'll push it firmly around my armature as you can see On the opposite leg, take some of my beast body. Also, have, have to condition it a bit. You can see already the difference. Same amount. Clay. Place it onto the leg, press it firmly. On the leg. So use a sculpting tool I hope you can see it and work on this side oops that was too deep of course you can work on it I try to add some fresh stuff blend it in more fresh stuff try to blend it in and here you see what happened I have done the same procedure with isopropanol to get it hold onto the armature and it already loose loses its hold, holds it, it does not hold on the armature you can do what you want you can not get it really stick to the armature on the opposite side the beast party I put on a big amount here smooth it in and you see I only manipulate the surface and not the whole block of clay that's the difference it's like sculpting with a wax like wax like oil based clay to show it again Yes, we did. Here I place a tiny amount, just a tiny amount of piece putty onto the armature and blend it through the armature and it sticks to it. Just on one side. I also can add some small amounts here it's got a tiny spike so no I try this with this stuff also a tiny amount 
to the armature. Maybe it works, I don't know. As you can see, it does not blend in so smooth. It's too big. Yeah, you can see it already loses its connection to the wire. So, this is another difference. It's a, it's a professional firm stuff, if you can see, it's another, another brand, but it's not wax-like as Beast Putty. Here you can see the difference. I hope you can see the difference. You, you have to see, the, uh, the, the feel the difference. This is a normal polymer clay. If I try to do things like this with it, so I need some more beast putty to show it to you. I have to condition it. Same thing. Here is the difference. I think everyone can see the difference. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Back to this little fella. I want to show you how I build up this guy. To get a good connection, sorry, I have to take a little tea. Here you can see my favorite tea. So, to get a good connection to the base. Take some bees putty and smear it onto the base. Just a small layer. Du kommst du Gerd. Kein Problem. Answer it in German. Micha. Um ein wenig Dynamik in die, Form, in die Figur zu bekommen, biege ich die vor. Das heißt, ein, eine leichte S-Form. Die Knie mache ich mir, um die Höhen zu markieren, wo die sind damit ich den Draht nicht im Weg habe. Wirst du gleich sehen. Aaron. Ja. 
Aaron, have you seen the trick with, with this uh, thermal jar and the hot tap water in it? This is a thermal jar with hot tap water in it. The water is... Today it uh, could be a little bit hotter, but... Ah, my, my fingers are so big. My hand is big. I placed it into their big chunks of bees putty. And you can see they are already usable. You can soften it up by heating it up, but you have to be careful. You don't get over 40 to 50 degrees indirect heat because uh, bees putty will start curing and you will get crumbly material if it's too hot. So, now I start to build up my volume. As you can see, I use small chunks of clay, press it firmly to my armature. Here you can now see that I establish a leg. And from above, the knee and the upper leg. So, I use my tool a little bit like a, a smith, like a hammer. I press the form into shape. I use the flat surface of my tool to add and press the clay into the shape I want to have. Then I blend the forms in. tested many things uh, for heating up bees putty and the uh, uh, trick with, with uh, hot tap water uh, is the easiest way with a poly bag because um, many other methods will easily overheat your clay so This is the easiest way. Uh, a good a good indicator is if you place your hand into the hot water and you can leave it there, it's not too hot. Even if you are a demon or something like this, it can be much hotter but for normal people, it's a good indicator to test if you can place your hand into the water. So, as you can see, my process I add some clay, 
press it. It is a shape I would like to have. In the meantime, I take uh, I'll take a look. Maybe I place it here. This one is already wet. In this case, you only have to take some his putty. So now we can see what I'm doing. For you again, feel free to ask if you have any questions. Sculpting related questions, I will try to answer them. Ja, Micha, das war immer mein Problem, deshalb konnte ich auch mit anderen Polymerkneten nicht arbeiten. Daher musste ich dieses Zeug erfinden. So, what I am working on is an online course or an online class, workshop or whatever you want to like to name it. I have really uh, thought about it, how I could do such a class for everyone who wants it. So the easiest way for me was to create a Facebook group, uh, a secret Facebook group where you can be invited to. And yes, this is triple for I only use triple firm. Um, there are, Michael, um, the firm and the double firm are versions. Uh, for me, I would like to uh, discontinue them, but I have some customers who like that really uh, soft stuff. For building up bigger bigger amounts of clay or uh, they have issues with their hands where they don't have uh, 
so much force in their hands, so they need to have a softer clay. For me, I only use triple firm. It, it can't be firm enough, so I'm working on a four times firm, but uh, maybe in the future. So, back to the workshop. What do you think about something like this? Let me show you. If you do a workshop, and before this workshop starts, you get a box with isopropanol, some end sleeves. This is not the, the right one, but uh, a little booklet, some wire, some bees putty, scouting stand, a brush and a sticker, um, and of course some kind of this tools. So, if you do this online course, I don't, I don't uh, have a price or something like this. At the moment, it's just the idea. You get all this stuff shipped to your home, and with all this stuff. Everyone in this online sculpting course have the same material, basic material, and I would then guide you through this class with this material. This is what I have in my mind and what I would like to come up within a few weeks, I think. So back to sculpting here, just adding the volume. Yes. As always, I try to make it as simple as possible for everyone. Sculpting is no witchcraft. It's everyone uh, can learn it. If you have someone like me who can show you the basics, you can learn it faster or as in my case I am studying sculpting since 25 years or longer now Tiny. 
Чеки нет. So you can see I've printed it out in the size I would like to sculpt it. So I can make direct measurements and adding clay where it is necessary. You can see my pet just fly. For beginners, it's often easier to sculpt with symmetry. That means um, yes, no need of foil cores. Sometimes I hear, um, but it's too expensive. I need a foil core. Yes. Um, if I want to build uh, a mansion like this and cannot spend 8 euros on clay and make my life uh, more complicated by sculpting it with a foil core, then it's your decision. Please do it. I will not make it complicated with a foil core. So what would I like to tell, what, what would I, I've lost my point, maybe it comes back. Ah, no, I won't know what I would like to tell you. So, if you're a beginner, it's uh, easier for you to sculpt both legs at the same time. So you make sure you add the same amounts of chunks to your armature and blend it in. So the volume is uh, the same from the beginning. you see I have placed some these putty onto my thumb so I can add or remove the amount that is necessary bit more volume here in front so now I will show you how to sculpt the other leg just adding so this will move a little bit more inwards and the other one also. First I cover my whole armature wire with piece putty to make sure there is no air bubble underneath. It 
works better to the armature than other polymer clays, but it also can get over it. But not so easy. So here you see the leg covered. Maybe I can move the lamp like this here. To get you a little bit more light and shadow. So now I start to copy the volume of this little food feed, one of Everett. Sculpting at the same time it's not it's not easy for me. So again, if you have any Beast Party related questions, feel free to ask. I will try to answer them. Just trying to copying the same volume like the first food I have sculpted. By turning him around and observe the shape. Also the outline that gives me the shape. To build up the second leg is a bit annoying. But once you have both legs looking right, it will start to give you joy. I think. Yes, you can mix different types, but 
uh, it is not harder after baking it's just a different starting situation here you can see firm the gray firm the soft stuff with just one B here you can see one B now it's sharp if you open up a box of firm and it comes off the box you see that I can press it with my fingers and the stuff is smooth and sculptable from the beginning for tiny details for me it is not firm enough to sculpt tiny details if you can see it here if you open up a box of triple firm here's a box of triple firm triple firm three bees You cannot, maybe I can show you the difference in one, it's just a different color, it's, uh, so here is the triple firm, yes, the firm, I can press it and sculpt right out of the box, the firm stuff, it's our softest, and the triple firm is really firm at the beginning. But this gift gives you the ability to sculpt really tiny, small details. That's the difference. Not the firmness after baking. After baking, they are nearly the same. There's no big difference. Yes, Brian Fraud is also one of my favorite, but this is not from Brian Fraud. This is from Rien Portview. Uh, an artist from the Netherlands. Really amazing wildlife artists. He has drawn animals really really in a really really cool style So again, put some beast putty onto your thumbnail. To add small amounts, 
where they are needed. Press them in, get them in shape. At this point, I try to rough in, really rough, the volume without making uh, big decisions on details. First you have to get your volume right, then you can add details. Yes, there is a, a book f uh, named Gnomes, Gnomes I, I think, with G-N-O-M-E-S. It's, it's my 3D printer, no one's got with me, so it is sculpting with me. Just right now I'm printing out some new tools for sculpting eyes. So it starts to get the form. Cornelia, guten Abend. Dankeschön. Der Dino, der hat gerade vorbeigeguckt. Wo ist er denn? Hier ist er. Manchmal kommt ja so ein Dino zwischendurch durchs Bild. A new blade. It's <laughs> so boring and <laughs> nearly fell asleep. Eric, yes. I can understand it, but maybe there are some people out there who are interested into sculpting. Now I have seen on my picture that the feet uh, move together. So I try to adjust it.
some volumes. Right and left. And on the tip. So there, the feet are connected in a way. This one has to be a bit longer. If you cannot see it with your eyes, you can just take such a tool and make some measurements to get it clear. So there I need a fold, now the fold folds the fold. Add some material above of this fold. Get some volume on the boot here to get it around shape. Also, the knuckles on the feet, whatever they are called in English. Some more trousers here. Again, if you have any sculpting related questions or just one question. Feel free to ask. Just checking. There is enough. You can see there is a Who are interchangeable with each other? I don't know, Micha, I don't know what you mean. My fingers or my tools? The tooltips are interchangeable, yes. Mm. 
Yes, haven't I shown it? Yes, another tool. So you can screw. We have different tool tips. Here you can see some of them. We have different colored connectors, tube connectors with uh, thread. And then you can choose your favorite tool tips and screw them together the way you prefer them. Also, here is a flat area so they don't roll off your table with the different colors. You can easily find your tool on the table. But again, with this form I make 90% of all my sculpting work. It's my favorite tool. As you can see in this video. Here I'm working on the folds of the trousers back. So you can imagine his little butt cheeks underneath there. There is a little fold in there. to add a little bit of clay in this hole. Again, this is just rough. No details. Just try to find the form or the shape. Moving around. Comparing up this hole here, blend in the clay here, just smooth it in. So, now I add some clay here. Yes, you need it. That's the same with this uh, thermo jar. You also have to check out how many water you put in. But with this rubber band, you get a little bit safer to have a flood on your desk. Eva, hello. So, as you can see, I have conditioned piece putty and I can add it here 
put bigger amounts blend it in easily without moving around the rest of my sculpture around Just adding volume and blend it in. Jonathan Gomez, uh, drop me a line, I will. Uh, leave me a, a comment here I will add a link to the book to the name of the book so now you can see why I have done this To get a little more depth in, depth in my sculpture, not to make it too flat, I'm nearly there. Just get some more clay out of my thermal jar. show you some experimental stuff while I'm conditioning the clay. Can you see? But I don't will get sharp. Not enough light. So I add some more volume here. Remember there's only small wire armature underneath without any foil core or something else in it. I like it this way because it gives me the maximum amount of sculpting freedom Thank you. Some more clay to condition. In the meantime, again, I have to drink some Princess and Lily Fay tea. Michael, yes, you found it. Cool. Look out for Rian, uh, Rian's other books. He is an awesome wildlife illustrator. Well, he was. Sadly, he was.
Drone 10, yes, it's a dry 3D printer running in the background. <laughs> Someone has to do my job. Princess in Lilifiti is where my creativity comes from. So it's a uh, now it's out the secret sculpting secret. You have to buy Princess in Lilifiti tea. Richard, how long does it usually take? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, sculpt a, a gnome like this um, from start to beginning? I don't know how long are we online now. I think about one hour. For me it takes, if from start to finish to the last, detail I sculpt maybe 10 to 15 hours I think in this demonstration I only show you the workflow how I do it in a fast way. Here you can see a place uh, printed. One. Here are some sausages, kind of. Take a look how I use this tool. I twist it between my fingers. I always sculpt from bottom to top. You. It's like building a house. You don't start at the roof. For me, I have seen other people start at the head or sculpt uh, something completely different. For me, it's more easy to sculpt from bottom to top to build up and don't build down. Dale. Yes, there there is a, a reason why I'm adding amounts and uh, don't remove from from big chunks. Uh, I am a sculptor, so for me, sculpting is building up a volume. And if you are a, a, a kind of carver, you use some other tools maybe i find one fast 
not as fast as I wish. Give me a second. Too many tools. Too many. Here I have them. Here. Some loop tools. Sometimes I use some loop tools, but I only use them for detailing. For me it's easier to control my volume, my sculpting volume, by adding small amounts of clay and check it with my print. There are many different ways to uh, come to your sculpting goals or to create a sculpture what I can do is I can show you my process how I do it Tyler I cannot answer this What do you mean? For sculpting or... I don't know how long uh, this video will be. Maybe... I will run out of warmed clay or have to walk the dogs. So again, here you see me building up a volume of this gnome using my beast putty polymer clay. Maybe I run off the, out of data, yeah, that also could happen. Need a straight line. A little bit more belly. Yes, why my wife will tell me. Maybe she's on and watching me also. I really would like to make it through. Just use this simple trick to get the belt at the right to the right position. 
You see, I have to add more clay. Yes, this is my profession. I am a professional sculptor for toys and other stuff. And, oh, here comes another diner, so... Alien invader. Or a lion. Also some funny stuff like this lion. When a toy lion meets a toy lion, different kind of lions, but we are working on a no. So, just conditioning here this small amount of putty. Now you can see what this will be, the head. What, what I, uh, I'm a sculptor, I do commissions. Sometimes I have some, Some sculpted stuff uh, I sell on my homepage beastparty.com. Yes, I also do it for 28 millimeter miniatures. I hope you can see this head here. I don't think Facebook is able to get this in focus so working on the back head here Only again, some conditioned already conditioned clay to cover the armature. have to remove it again. I've seen I've sculpted in an air bubble in there, so I had to re-sculpt it. Tyler, why? For me, it's pure joy sculpting. So, let's do another 
check. Maybe we are nearly there. Yes, um, it's how can I describe it in English? Um, it's a process. Uh, try something easy and level up what you would like to sculpt. Or uh, join in some sculpting class. I'm just uh, planning online courses or classes or whatever. Just in the block in no details. Guten Abend, Paul. Nein, mein 3D-Drucker arbeitet für mich. Irgendeiner muss ja Geld verdienen, wenn ich Mannekes mache. Für mich ist es halt einfach, große Meister zu kopieren. Hallo Marcel, ein Stefan Gnom würde so aussehen oder sieht so aus. Tool in action. This is the input it gives you. I don't I don't know if it can seen on the video. Can you see it? Instead of using one single tip, you have many more.
So it's Wuppi Wuppis zu skypen. Hört sich lustig an. Ich weiß nicht, was es ist. So then if you have this, you can take a tool like this and give it some more flow in some areas. fly on the other side you have the shame mail tool it's it's not easy for me to show it because I'm far away from the sculpture you have to check the angle if you see it But you can see the principle, I think. I have to remove this from the gnome's chest. So. Little dwarfs. I like dwarfs and gnomes and goblins, all kind of stuff like this. Here is an old goblin I have sculpted. a very very big nose the ear some old stuff stuff max yes it's a christmas tree it's a christmas tree rex <laughs> Human sculptures. What does that mean, human sculptures? Let me see. Oh, oh, wow. oh I don't. Yes, I've done uh, human sculptures. Many of them. I don't have one by hand. Let me take a look. For the human sculpture I have done. Maybe you know this guy here. Yes, chess pieces are always cool, but I uh, don't know anyone who is playing chess. Thank you.
just fill in these holes. As you can see, this putty is different from other polymer clays, other polymer clays. It's more like an wax-like oil-based clay. So know the rules of the game chess and I have played it sometimes. One time I have played it with someone uh, who's a nearly professional chess player I think and at this point I stopped playing chess because I lost within a few minutes. Almost. Just checking my volumes. Try to look if it's right. Again, I'm not looking for details or something. Just want to look that it works or works. Maybe I have to travel to England for a while. that you can understand me better. Oh, you all have to learn German. Das wäre ein richtiger Spaß. Da könnte ich euch ganz schnell ganz lustige Geschichten erzählen. But in English it's not really possible for me. RuneScape characters. No, I don't know RuneScape. I've sculpted Demon World miniatures. Um, some stuff for Ral Parser. Some stuff for Reaper. Uh, many miniatures for. Oh, they named. Um, <laughs> I don't know the name. Uh, for War Machine. War Machine. Private Press. Yes, it's called Private Press. 
and many many other companies I don't have in my mind. Richard, uh, I think I do my living from sculpting for over 20 years now. Awesome. Maybe Facebook is able to show it. Here's a little gnome rider. I have sculpted many many years ago for my own miniature line. Toad rider. Angela. This is Bees Patier. It's a firm wax-like bakeable, oven bakeable clay. It's a little bit sticky and it holds to the armature. No, it is not from the from the uh, movie. It's from a book called Gno Gnomes by Rien Porteview. Here you can see it. The belt is a little bit too high. And I have to add some volume here. These putties uh, specially developed to sculpt such miniatures. Printer is finished. It's a sculpting job or printing printing job or whatever it's called. It's called. So check the height, the build. First of all, we have to check. From the bottom to the belt. Uh, I need to buy another caliper. This one is not good for this kind of job. Yes, here in, in Europe they can get this old, especially in the Netherlands, where it's from. I, I also think so. Such gnomes live a stress-free stress life. The Netherlands with free wheat for all. <laughs> no.
Abby's. You have to go to bed now. Tell your mother she uh, should read a, a good gnome, gnome story for you. <laughs> Get her some clay and uh, let she start sculpt something. Not not today. So take a look at my fingers, I move my tool between or roll it between my fingers and press the clay downwards the belt to get it overlapping here to create this fold or volume that comes out of the belt. This evening I have been watched by over 130 people. Thank you for watching. It's an honor for me that you are interested into my work or want to learn something about sculpting. If you have any question Feel free to ask. Maybe you are interested in joining my online sculpting class. Thank you for your interest. I hope you have learned something. For me, it's not only uh, showing that I'm skilled. I know that by myself, don't understand me wrong. My intention is to show you the joy of sculpting. Right? Like this guy has brought you the joy of painting. This will go on and on. So every little 
stress on my clay, I will get it. What paints do you use? What paints do I use? I'm a sculptor, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a painter. Sometimes I paint, but mostly I sculpt. Yes, Deadpool, Deadpool. Isn't it this guy in the in the red suit uh, who, who who cannot who, who's blind? <laughs> yes, Bob had a paint job. do something different with his arms I think so we already lost over 50 viewers I see right now just check it again For today, I think Daredevil is blind. Yes, oh, they pulled something different. Sorry, I mixed up all this, uh, all this kind of superheroes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am Angela. Angela asked a good, good question. I use aluminium wire armature as you can see here for putting them together I use electric and sleeves again for you who watch the whole video this is the bees putty side I can still sculpt this here and this is the other well-known polymer clay. What have you made that you that you were the most impressed with? Ooh. That's a good question. Don't know at the moment. Which over the last twenty years I've done so many sculptures. Hmm. I could not name a single one. There are so many cool things I've done, I think. Including this. Hmm, let me think about it. What's on my desk here? What I can show you? Something cool here or something cool done. <laughs> Underneath her. Well, this is Bob, the sculpting bee. Uh, of course, no problem. But I don't think I do it today. Uh, 
uh, sculpting this face will not be a problem for me um, and I really would enjoy to show you the process but uh, my 3d printer just had finished his job and I have to walk my dogs it's bees putty and you can get it on beesputty.com you can see it beesputty.com Oh, I have some new stickers. I we put in uh, stickers with, with new orders. Uh, someone asked for the eyes I'm making to sculpt the demon eyes. This was a test I've done. Where are the other ones? Here are the other ones. Some sculpted eyes from Beast Putty with UV, clear UV curing resin. I will show this process in another video and I would sculpt uh, something in flesh colored Beast Putty and using some eyes so will it work? yes it works so here is my winking cat thank you all for watching I hope to see you next time. Take a look for this box here and the online sculpting class I am planning. Enjoy this evening. Bye bye. Happy sculpting.